PrimeFlex 900 XLV is a liquid polyurethane resin that reacts with water and expands to form a flexible foam. When you inject this product into an actively leaking crack in concrete, it will penetrate the water-filled voids and crevices, expanding and sealing off the leak permanently. What makes 900 XLV a great product is basically four things. It is a one component material, which means you don't have to add any catalyst or accelerator. You can pump it straight out of the pail. Number two, it is very low viscosity. In other words, this material is very thin, so it's easy to penetrate tighter cracks. The third thing is that it is a very tough and elastic material. So as the crack opens and closes with the temperature changes, the material will flex. And finally, it's a hydrophilic material. Hydrophilic materials have an affinity for water, so the water that is inside the pores of the concrete is actually going to suck the foam into the pores so that it gets an excellent mechanical and chemical bond. You use this product to seal active leaks in any above grade or below grade concrete structure. It is for sealing hairline cracks, expansion joints, wide cracks, pipe joints, or pipe penetrations. Typical structures where you will use it include water treatment tanks, dams, below grade concrete walls, tunnels, manholes, elevator service pits, below grade parking decks, any kind of structure that is either holding water or below grade. At the most basic level, you use PrimePlex 900 XLV by drilling holes into the structure and injecting the resin directly into the crack or defect. Here are the five critical steps. Step one is to drill a hole into the concrete, typically at a 45 degree angle, to intersect the crack halfway through the structure. Step two is to flush the drilling dust out of the hole. You want to pump water into the back of the hole using our flush wand. This ensures that no dust will mix with the resin, which would make a paste and inhibit the resin from penetrating the crack. Step three is to install a high pressure injection port such as our 3 8 inch bang-in port or our half inch or 5 8 inch mechanical packer. Step 4 is to flush the crack with water. You want to inject water through the port and into the crack for the following reasons. A. You want to clean the crack. You've got water that is carrying dirt and minerals through the crack and that's contaminated it. Injecting water under high pressure will help clean the crack out. B the water is going to open the crack up. The water is going to travel to places that the resin wouldn't normally go by itself, but once you inject the water, the crack opens up a little bit and allows the resin to penetrate tighter places. See, injecting the water shows you where the resin is probably going to travel. As you inject water into the crack, it will show up at the face of the concrete, giving you a good indication as to how far the resin will travel. And finally, D. Injecting water into the crack ensures that there isn't drilling debris in the port and that the resin will have enough moisture to react. Now that the crack is clean and full of water, you're ready for step 5, and that's to inject the PrimePlex 900 XLV. To repeat the basic steps, number 1, drill your hole. Number 2, flush the drilling dust out of the hole. Number 3, set your injection port. Number 4, flush the crack out with water. And number five, pump in the 900 XLV. Of course, there are variations in these steps depending on the size of the crack, joint, or defect, and the volume of water leaking through. PrimePlex 900 XLV is conveniently packaged in one and five gallon pails, quick mix cartridges, or single shot cartridges. Material can be pumped directly out of the five gallon pails. The quick mix cartridges are packaged in our standard two to one system with the larger cartridge filled with XLV and the smaller cartridge to be filled on site with clean water. Some of the accessories available for the 900 XLV include the Titan 540i pump, which has been modified for injection, various injection ports, prime plug hydraulic cement that can be used to slow down the flow of water, which will allow the resin time to react, and oil-free oakum which is used for the same thing, temporarily sealing a wide crack so that the resin has time to react. When using PrimeFlex 900 XLV or any resin under pressure, there are four basic safety considerations. The most important consideration is eye protection, preferably a full face shield. 
900 XLV is injected under high pressure and can blow out of injection ports, out of cracks, or sometimes out of a random spot on the wall without warning. Using eye protection is absolutely critical. The second safety consideration is avoiding electrocution. You'll be using electrical equipment, including the pumps, drills, and grinders, in a very wet environment. Make sure your electrical cords are properly grounded with no nicks or cuts in the insulation and kept out of standing or running water. The third consideration is respiratory irritation. Polyurethanes contain isocyanates, which is an inhalation hazard. Although the concentrations are typically low, be sure to use OSHA or comparable confined space procedures, including mechanical ventilation when working in a confined area. The final consideration is skin contact. The material is not corrosive to your skin. However, I can assure you that if it gets on your skin, you'll be wearing it for a while. Wear latex or rubber gloves, long sleeved shirt and long pants, or a Tyvek suit to keep the sticky resin off of your body. As with all chemicals, be sure to read and completely understand the safety data sheet before use.